Good morning, everybody. It is October 20th, Wednesday. Um, got a busy day today. Um, we're going to do a bit earlier rehearsal uh, with the immediate family and then um, uh, the Clubhouse live stream. Uh, I'm going to do that from the rehearsal and uh, I'll try to uh, entice the, the, the boys to come in and stick their faces in and, and maybe answer some questions and say hi. So um, I'm going to take uh, do that. I've got a few things to take care of. I just sent off a, a, a video promotion for a uh, Halloween function that's going to be taking place in New York City. And um, then I was just looking around at some artists. Uh, once again, a couple of people posted yesterday, would you just play bass? You know, I intend to come back and play bass on some things. I'm not a jukebox. And um, it takes time to... Um, wrap my head around songs again to play them again and i've been rehearsing every day with our band with van dyke parks for the concert we're doing this friday with another project that i've got to go out of town for next week um so you know i i I'm, i can't promise when i'll be playing bass next because i'm playing every single day at w working at it um, so I will get to it, but uh, really don't come on and say, when are you going to play bass or just play bass? Okay, just appreciate that. <clears throat> this is a lot of work, uh, I assure you. Um, so I, I, was, I was thinking about different artists and I came upon a project that I did that was really a, a fun project. And uh, like most of them have been, and I thought I would share it with you, especially anybody that might not have been familiar with this. I've made myself some copious notes here. Uh, I've got my other my other copious notes uh, tablet over there, but I didn't get to it yet. It's only just turned 8 o'clock in the morning here. I've been at it for about an hour so far. Uh, this project was um, with Richie Fure, and this album was called I Still Have Dreams. We, we recorded it in 1979. Now, for those that don't know, uh, Richie was best known as one of the founding members of Buffalo Springfield with Stephen Stills, Neil Young, Bruce Palmer, and Dewey Martin. And following um, Buffalo Springfield, he was a founder uh, uh, of uh, Poco, the great band Poco, with Jim Messina, Timothy B. Schmidt from the Eagles, Rusty Young, uh, who we've lost Recent, recently enough, it was really sad that uh, Grant, uh, George Grantham and uh, Randy Meisner, who was the original bass player in the Eagles. Um, this is a real tight community of guys. He's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And after Poco, he was part of the um, Souther Hillman Fure Band with J.D. Souther, Chris Hillman, and, and himself. Uh, all, I mean, all individually, but like amazing people. Um, Chris has done the, uh, he was in, in the birds, but he was got really busy doing solo work. And then he was in the band, the Desert Rose Band uh, with, um, um, <laughs> Herb Peterson. Oh God, sorry, it's early. Um, and that they've been at it and they formed a great band. And certainly J.D. Souther is, is renowned as a solo artist and as a songwriter. Um, so, um, uh, but then uh, he was doing a project and working with Al Perkins, uh, who was a great pedal steel player in town. And Richie's turned to um, Christianity at that point, and um, it really changed the direction of his life. And uh, he started pursuing music in, in a secular and non-secular um, modes. Um, there, there's a lot of details in all this. Uh, if you if you look him up, I mean, it gets it gets very very involved in terms of the directions that he's taken. Uh, but they've over the years they've um, had uh, Buffalo Springfield reunions recently uh, and Poco reunions over the past years. Uh, in 2018, um, they did a 50th anniversary reun reunion of Poco at the Troubadour here in L.A. and uh, to celebrate their first performance there, which was in 69. Um, and he's got a new album, which is soon to be released from what I understand, um, which I'm looking forward to hearing. And uh, 
but it, it's great that I mean he's still you know at it and and still uh, going uh, going strong. Last time I saw him was I think I was with Lyle Lovett at um, Red Rocks outside of Denver, and and he came to the show. We we got to say hi backstage beforehand, and I think Taj Mahal was opening for us there. So it was a fun evening. Uh, on this album. It's myself on bass, Russ Kunkel on drums, Dan Dugmore and Wadi Wachtel on guitar, uh, Craig Durge on keyboards, and Richie um, is uh, is on acoustic guitar. But it's fun. I mean, I'm looking here. I mean, there's there's me, Russ, uh, and Craig. Three quarters of the section we're doing this, and then there's Wadi. So I'll be seeing in a couple of hours and stuff. So, I mean, it's amazing as this time goes on. We're all still connected and still working together and making music. So it's a pretty remarkable journey that we've all, we've all been on uh, throughout all of this. But uh, I'm going to play a couple of songs from, from this. It's really it's some good stuff. I hadn't heard it in years. And, um, and then I'm going to take care of some things and then head out to an early rehearsal and then my live stream. Uh, and then I'm also really excited for anybody. I mean, it's a, it's a very interesting new world order that we're going into with the advent of NFTs, a non-fungible tokens. It's a virtual world that's really amazing for artists um, to get their artwork out, be it, you know, a real like paintings or drawings or music or anything. Uh, the, the, it, it's a really unique thing that, that I've gotten involved in, and I actually um, have got a, uh, a store that's going to be launched this Friday, uh, this coming Friday, uh, day after tomorrow. And uh, one of the things that, that we are going to have is I've, we've taken my, my book, Everybody Loves Me, and converted a chunk of that in, into uh, individual trading card packets. And uh, it's going to be really a, a, a cool thing to visit. The store is a virtual store, of like, you know, 3D, almost holographic. And the cards have turned out unbelievable. And uh, when uh, you end up buying the cards, it goes into... Um, you can start trading them, but there will be certain sets that'll have like a Willy Wonka gold card in them that'll in entitle you to um, some special perks and all kinds of stuff. We're really working hard building this, and and if you want to explore it, it's a fascinating world. I mean, it kind of blew my mind when I got, when I started to dig into NFTs, um, and it's becoming a pretty powerful um, new media to work in and uh, I'm going to have a lot of stuff in the store virtual stuff like my Frankenstein base will be virtually in there where you, you can actually own the image of that base um, it, 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 it's amazing it's not like a picture of something like you know why don't I just take a picture of it this is a whole other ball game so uh, I'm not I'm going to play music right now but it's I'm excited about the store being launched uh, this Friday, and it, there's, we're going to have a three-week um, period of, uh, of having, it's all limited edition stuff. I mean, you know, it's like you go, I'll wait around for it. Well, it won't be there. And once the three weeks is over, this, this is over, and then we start something new. Um, so if you want to check it out, uh, it's, it's cool. I've, I've, I find myself just really intrigued by all of this, uh, teaching an old dog new tricks here. But let's get back to Richie Fure. This is a, a song called Island Love. And this is I Still Have Dreams from 1979. Here we go. I wish 
that flavor that period the eagles poco buffalo springfield all all that there was such a, a, a signature sound to all of that and he's got that that kind of that slightly gravelly kind of henley voice and uh it was an a, amazing amazing collection of artists here in los angeles during that late 60s early 70s period this, this town was alive with amazing amazing people on that so here's another tune called What's the Matter, Please? What's the Matter, Please? Here we go.
looking for the love I thought I knew Having Val Engineering is always good. Val's one of the great engineers of uh, this business. We did so many, like James Taylor Records and so many other people, Kim Carnes, and you kind of name it. Val's still going strong, still one of the finest engineers. Um, let's see. This Here's a song. I'll just do two more here. There's a lot of really good songs on this record if you want to check it out. Really good stuff. Really great period you know, that early, you know, that 70s thing is, is like, I just love it, man. There was so much energy in the studios and so much kind of creative interplay arranging amongst the bands. I mean, nobody came in with note-for-note -note charts. This was all like just chord sheets and, you know, if, 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 if at best sometimes. So this was just a lot of really talented people with a lot of juices flowing together. Uh, here's one called Heading South. There, here we go. Let me get this in here. Ain't nobody loving you, babe, like I do. Are you out on the edge of your dream? Nothing is true You're just waiting to find Someone to carry you through Well it sure looks to me Like your heart's just breaking in two Your sights were all set in your head Hide on the rain could get between you and your heart's burning flame But somewhere between here and there you lost sight of your aim Now finding yourself is more than all you could get Get to 
That's eh, screw. Just think back. I can picture us all still in the studio. I mean, it's amazing how indelible so many of these memories are that once you start hearing the song and you're picturing the band, I mean, these are, this is like the original immediate family guys. I mean, for me and Russ and Dan and Waddy and Craig to be together on this project was great. And of all the musicians I work with, I go farther back with Dan Dugmore uh, than anybody else. Uh, when we were in a band called the Brimstones in 1966 uh, together. And uh, Dan's such a great musician, such a great player, such a, you know, I mean, beyond his um, steel, which he's one of the best steel players, uh, but his guitar playing and everything, he's, he's just a unique individual. I love Dan. And he moved down to Nashville and kind of just really entrenched himself there. He's on damn near everything that comes out in Nashville. It's amazing. So, Okay, here's uh, one last song and then I'm, I'm going to get running here and I got to take care of some stuff and then organize what I'm taking to rehearsal so I can do my live stream uh, after we finish the rehearsal. So this was called I Was a Fool. Here we go. Richie Fure. Been a long time Since I walk in the rain it's been a long time since I felt this way It took a long time to get here and a long way around I still can't give the reasons though Cause they won't be found I was a fool I was a fool to turn my back. I was a fool. Let it rest with that. That's my defense. I was a fool. There isn't a cause.
cool track. I really like that. The minimalism of it is really amazing, but uh, it's a vocal lyric song, you know, and you do what you have to do just to support the song. And uh, that was, forgot about that one. It's really great. Okay, I am going to get going. I've got a lot to do today. Um, and again, uh, someday, someday hope, so maybe that's Richie calling now. I don't know. It's probably the guys going, where are you? Um, hopefully we will get to a point where I don't have to say this anymore, but, you know, or just appreciating these people for their daily thing that they've normally done and not what they're having to deal with during these most aberrant of times. But thank you, especially to everybody in the healthcare community that's been um, working so hard day and night trying to save people's lives. Um, and it's tragic that still some, most of the people in ICUs are unvaccinated people. There's all kind of plenty of arguments about, I don't want to be told what to do and all that, but I don't know what your arguments are going to do if you're on a ventilator. You know, it's just, it's heartbreaking to think of so many lives lost and and looking at the rest of the world where some places are really totally on top of it and other places. I was listening to the news when I was coming home from rehearsal yesterday, driving home and talking about, I think in major swaths of Africa, there's only like a 5% um, inoculation rate and it's still running rampant there. And they're trying to figure out ways to get more uh, vaccine to them and, and they're working on building their own factories over there. So this is, this, this, this ain't over kids. So just uh, be safe you know, and be smart through all of this. Um, uh, are my clubhouse members, I will see you uh, this afternoon and I look, I really look forward to it and uh, we'll catch up on things then. And hopefully the guys will, like I said, stick their mugs in and, uh, and then I'm off and running. So have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.